a uniformed officer with the Omaha, Nebraska Police Department, Steve Jenham is not your typical cop. He's a third degree black belt in the art Toga Koreru Ninjitsu. Don't count on seeing his 5 foot 10 and 215 pound frame standing square in the octagon. His ninjutsu style relies heavily on combination striking, intricate takedowns, and joint manipulation. Hi, I'm Steve Jenham, a police officer from Omaha, Nebraska, and I'm here to bust the ultimate fighting champion. Here he is, making his way through for the first time tonight, and in the finals, a shot at $60,000. Saw him hitting the bag, he's got a great left hook, comes right out of the slot, up and over. So we're going to see what a fortunate Shamrock, night for him tonight, guys. For well, I tell you, this is indicative Steve of how great this event has become. Place. These Steve guys Jenna. have to give up the chance at $60,000. You know doggone well, if they didn't put everything out there, they would not do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have yet to find out what the injury was to Ken Shamrock, but all we know is police officer Steve Jenham, Togakora Ryu Nijitsu. And his art. If he is hurt, you protect him. Got it? Harold Howard is now, we understand, in the tunnel and about to make his way into the octagon. I went back a few minutes ago to try to get an interview with him. He was so keyed up, he was yelling and screaming, jumping up and down his hands. He was ready to go. He wants this big time. Harold Howard, a father of two. He has his own style. Look he it. went into the ring. And he saw Hoist Gracie have to throw in the towel. Couldn't His, continue. History in the making, folks. We're used to seeing Hoist come out with this entourage. What a night this is. Harold Howard had fought one bout. He took the Hoist Gracie. He had him matched up in the semifinals. Hoist couldn't continue. Now he's in the final. I think to say he's keyed up, Jim, is an understatement. It is an understatement. He's always been keyed up since he's been down here. I worked on the Alaskan pipeline off and on for eight years. There's a lot of tough Canadians out there. Here we go. Let's go up to Rich Goins now, who's, who's keeping things level-headed up in the octagon for the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, our finals of the Ultimate Fight Fighting Championship Part 3 from Charlotte, North Carolina. Please welcome the competitors. Filling in for Ken Shamrock out of the blue corner. A third degree black belt in the art of Toga Kore Rune in Jitsu. He's a uniformed police officer from Omaha, Nebraska. Five foot ten, 215 pounds. Steve Jenham. Jenham. And his opponent back for the finals from Ontario, Canada. A black belt, a Canadian world heavyweight champion in jiu-jitsu, and three-time Canadian heavyweight karate champion, six foot two, 230 pound, Harold Howard. Howard. He's been so focused for this fight since he got here, nothing's changed. He's been this, he looks just like this when he got here. Are you ready? Referee John McCarthy up. says, let's get it underway. Here we go. A little bit of acrobatics. Lead right hand. Straight right hand, that hurt. That hurt, Steve. Duck the punch, he's going for the ground. Hey. That ran, that hand was enough for Jenham to know I gotta get this guy in the ground. Jenham took that shot, that was a big right hand. That was, that was a type of shot to put Roland Payne out of this competition. Jenham should sweep him, yes, to take him down to break that hole. He should reach up and pull that hand down to pull that off his neck. He can do it. The only way to end this. Only way he should get both his legs around his waist. This can go a while. He can get his other leg, his right leg out. If Howell can get his right leg out and around his waist and put this pressure on it, this fight will be over. They haven't seen him off the feet. Yeah. Now Steve will try to get that right leg out of there. Jenham kept his cool. Many yeah. people would not have kept his cool. And suddenly it's reversed. Surprised he went that way. Good move. Jenham's beauty from that first punch. Yeah, good. Cool. He hit him. Come on, Jenham. Jenham is Come one on, tough go character. Go Look at this. In years. In years. Jenham is fresh. Look, he comes out of the wing. He should save his strength. He should punch when he can 
time. Yes. Referee John oh, McCarthy. Keeping a close eye on him. Unbelievable. And it's it. Alternate wins the ultimate fighting champion. An alternate win. Steve Jenham has won $60,000. He is the ultimate fighting champion. It's the first time in three UFC bouts that we have an alternate win it all. He is ecstatic, and Jim, what guts he took after he took that blow to keep his cool. Walk around there, Jim. The Nebraska policeman is the UFC champion. He's the creator of an innovative martial arts strategy. It's a combat system. He did it himself. And look at the respect between the two fighters. Harold Howard embraces him. Good job. You're a tough man. 